The clouds are parting, making way for the sun. Hello everyone. I'm Chris. Chris Beb. Welcome to SeaWorld San Antonio. Today, instead of going right, we're gonna go straight. Straight into Aquatica. Enjoy some. Hopefully sun. Hopefully. Slides. And should be a third S. Snacks. Snacks. So I'm inviting you to come along. Come along. By the way, this is our first time here at Aquatica for the year. No mask for over a year. Last time we were here, we had to wear a mask in, but not while we were walking around. So. Right. Let's enjoy the day. And it looks like we still have a platinum entrance. Yep. Yes. I know. Let's find a place to sit. Right. And enjoy the sun. See it's peeking through. It is. Did it feel good? Yes. This is a little cold getting actually down in with the, you know, things and I almost <coughs> forgot I have contacts in, so I gotta keep my eyes closed. It rained this morning, so the water's a little chilly, but it's not too bad. You ready, Dunk? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Are you comfy? I am. <laughs> I am quite comfy. We got here just as the clouds were parting. This is fantastic. Now the water will heat up a bit. So we're hanging out at, we're hanging out by the restroom. Uh -huh. So I thought I'd start the tour here at Stingray Falls. This is the first slide that you see when you come in into the park. You have all the stingrays circling. You can buy some fish to feed them in this booth right over here. So I'm going to walk down here right off the path and go to the right. Watch the stingrays. So when you come off of Stingray Falls, you go underneath the tank here. You can almost see the dude pulling the raft around. Here's the entrance to Stingray Falls. Oh, it's getting busy. So here in the corner we have adaptations and then back this way, we have a mimosa bar and the lockers. We go back towards the lockers. So the lockers are an all day rental. You got small for 15, large for 20, and the jumbo is 25. I'll give you boxes here so you can see whether or not your stuff is going to fit in it. Here's Ihu's Breakaway Falls. 
This is the drop slide. Maximum weight is 300 pounds. Guess must be 48 inches. I still haven't been brave enough to ride this yet. There are some very nice cabanas back through here. They have a table, no lounger. But they're very secluded. They all have their own ceiling fan. Here comes somebody. <laughs> so the drop ones are the orange and the blue. And the green's the chicken slide, which I would probably go down. So the aviary has been closed and they're being turned into private cabanas. It's kind of sad. This was a nice place to go in the water, but as you can see, it's not working anymore. This area here by Loggerhead Lane is open. To anyone, we got some nice umbrellas here wanting to stay out of the shade. Or wanting to stay in the shade. Okay, walking from behind the lockers here, we were just over there by Huey Breakaway Falls and came back behind the lockers. Now we're in front of Kiwi Curl and Tonga Twisters. Usually can just jump on this and be done with it, but there's a little bit of a line today. Taking a right on the walkway right after Tonga. And you have the Lazy River right here. There's a bridge that takes you over to some more cabanas. Another little entrance way. Debbie and I had a cabana back here once. It was nice. We have plenty of cabanas. And also chairs. I'd get here first thing though, because these chairs will fill up quickly. And they're first come, first serve. The ones with the umbrellas are reserved towards the back. I think we can take a trip around the Lazy River. Let's see if we can find this tube. Found a tube. I'm trying to get used to it. It's Are we doing a YouTube? 
YouTube channel? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Can I get in? No. Sure. <laughs> nope, you're in it. <laughs> Time to get out. Try to as much fun as I can in here. If you're wanting a place to get a tube, find this entrance, the easy entrance, back by the restrooms, and you're going to find tubes. Plenty of tubes. So here's first aid. One entrance to Loggerhead Lane, another entrance right in the curb. Come back here. Get tubes. We'll walk around the restrooms and go over here to Waterstone Grill. Let's see what kind of treats they have. So they give you some wayfinding here. This is a little bridge we took over where there's uh, cabanas and shaded loungers that you have to rent. Here's the restrooms and where the uh, first aid kit is. First aid, first aid stand. We just came out over there. We walked behind the bathrooms. There's an entrance right over here to get into Loggerhead Lane. This is the newer slide, the red and orange on there. One of my favorite. And here's one of the entrances to Waterstone Grill. Waterstone Grill has cheeseburgers, grilled chicken sandwiches, chicken nuggets, sandwich, that would make any sense, hot dogs, fresh fruits and salad, kids meals, assorted dessert, and ice cold Coke products. These tables just outside of Larstone Grill are new. Very nice addition. Okay, to give you some wayfinding, we started out. <laughs> we start out. We started out over here, walked by Stingray Falls. Took a little tube behind the a walkway behind here to see where you could get the stingrays. Walked over here past Ehu Breakaway Falls, back out, walked down here, came across this bridge, checked out those cabanas, walked out of that, walked around the restrooms, walked into Loggerhead Lane here, which is where I'd recommend going in because that's where all the tubes are. Got back out there, went over to Waterstone Grill. Now we are beside Waterstone Grill, right behind Kiwi Curls and Tonga Twisters. And then back over here by Kata's, Kata's Kookaberry Cove, which is for the little tykes. So I had somebody ask, it's like, okay, is there a place where the little tykes can go where they're not messing around with people that are covered? As you can see, they have covers back here for loungers so the parents can kind of hang out and it's a little shallow wave pool. It's like eight inches deep. And the kids can have fun. Little octopus slide and, and there's a lifeguard on duty. More restrooms and lockers back by the uh, Tanga Twisters. Let's have a food truck, which is currently closed. You got the mango natas and picadillas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Chili cheese nachos, pickles with chamoya and Lucas, the snow cones. But it's closed today. Back by Stingray Falls again. And almost a bar. We got big surf snacks and adaptations. Let's go ahead and look. Flip flops. Only $2. Not what I'm about. I like those. Kids. $24.99. $29.99. Swimsuits. And goggles. 
Looks like Big Surf Snack Shop just has popcorn, chips, cotton candy, and drinks. I'm gonna walk down to the wave pool. This is one crowded part of the park. If you want to lounge here, you're gonna to have to get here early. Look at all the people. The sun came out and everybody showed up. Cutback Cove is another place for the youngsters. As you can see, it's crowded. Little walking thing that people are sitting on. Got a squid, giant lobster, shrimp, and some stingrays. Yeah, this is not where I'd want a lifeguard. That's how it all starts. Ooh and aahs. And then comes screaming. Give me some wayfinding here. This is the main entrance. Stingray Falls. We walked around that way back by Waterstone Grill. Came back around to the wave pool. Big surf shores and the a little thing and as you can see there is some covered uh, loungers here but uh, you're gonna have to get here early to get them because they fill up quick everybody wants to be by the wave pool not me this is the slippy dippy pool for the kids waiting pool with a couple slides lots of fun lots of lifeguards and back over there is where Debbie is. She's probably wondering where I am. I'm gonna walk this way back towards the other main slides in the park. I still haven't found a Debbie-worthy snack. Huh. Yeah, Dippin' Dots. I'm not a fan of Dippin' Dots. I don't understand it. Less ice cream, more money. Doesn't make any sense. Oh look, drinks. Let's see what they got. Just missed the bucket. Got some hard seltzer, draft beer, bottled and canned waters and cocktails. Cut water cocktail, at $8.99, don't know what that is. Then we also have some frozen cocktails. We've got uh, uh, margarita, strawberry daiquiri, mango daiquiri, and chamoya to it for two bucks. Vodka Blueberry Lemonade. That sounds pretty good. I'm passion fruit. To give you an idea of where we were, we just walked down this path. Wave pulls over there. That's the beach bar. We're headed back towards Tazzy Twisters in Hulu Run, two of my favorite slides. There's also restrooms right here too for your convenience. Our loop is almost done. Looks like the lion's already at the bottom of the steps, so I won't be riding these today. It's called Walkabout Waters. My feet are hot, so I'm gonna walk about. People about to get dumped on. Give you some wayfinding here. We've got walkabout waters. I walked up these steps back around here. We're over by the Tomato Racers, the Matt Racers, one of my favorite, favorite rides. Uh, line doesn't seem to be too long today, but I don't think I'm going to do it today. 
Let's watch some people come down. And Mark gets set to go. And we have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I have ridden this once. I haven't been able to get Debbie on it. You need at least two. I'll take a shortcut through the water. <sighs> so that was our tour of Aquatica. I hope that helps you out as far as looking at cabanas and whatnot. And we're going to sit. We've been enjoying our day swimming. Too proud to ride rides today or slides. So I think Debbie and I are gonna call it a day. Thanks for joining. We do a video once a week. Thanks for watching. Think about subscribing, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. And now for something completely different. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.